This video will show you how to milk the tubing of your Jackson Pratt drain, empty the drainage bulb, and record the drainage. You'll want to make sure you have all the supplies you need in front of you. You'll need a measuring container, an alcohol pad, and your Jackson Pratt drainage record. There are two parts to your Jackson Pratt drain, the tubing and the bulb. Before you empty the drainage bulb, you'll need to milk the tubing so it can drain properly. First, clean your hands. If you're washing your hands with soap and water, wet your hands, apply soap, rub your hands together thoroughly for 15 seconds, then rinse. Dry your hands with a disposable towel and use that same towel to turn off the faucet. If you're using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, be sure to cover all of your hands with it, rubbing them together until they're dry. Cleaning your hands properly, also called hand hygiene, is an important part of caring for your drainage catheter. Now look in the mirror at the tubing. Pinch the tubing close to where it goes into your skin. You may want to use an alcohol pad to make it easier to slide your fingers down the tubing. With your thumb and forefinger of your other hand, pinch the tubing right below your other fingers. Keeping your fingers pinched, slide them down the tubing. Keep doing this until any clots are out of the tubing and into the bulb. Once all the clots are in the bulb, you're ready to empty it. Unplug the stopper. Then turn the bulb upside down and gently squeeze it, pouring the contents into the measuring container. Now turn the bulb right side up. Squeeze the bulb enough so that all the air comes out and keep squeezing it while you replug the stopper. The bulb should remain compressed so that it provides continuous, gentle suction. The stopper must be closed for the drain to work. If you're wearing a surgical bra, attach the Jackson Pratt using the Velcro straps. It's important that you never let the drain dangle. Check the amount and the color of the drainage in the measuring container and write both on your Jackson Pratt drainage record. Note the measurements on the container are in millimeters, MLS for short. If you have more than one drain, measure and write down each one separately. Remember, the color and consistency of the drainage will vary. It might be dark red, the color of cranberry juice, or a yellowish straw color. If the drainage is bright red, you should call your surgeon's office right away. Empty the drainage down the toilet and rinse the measuring container with water. At the end of every day, add the amount of drainage for the 24-hour period and write it down. Remember, each drain should be recorded separately. For more information on caring for your Jackson Pratt drainage system, refer to the printed materials your nurse gave you. You can also find this information online by visiting www dot mskcc.org slash pe. If you have any questions, call your surgeon's office.